Can you tell me what it was like to do research in your own school? Um, it was a little strange to do research in my own school. I mean, I hadn't been away that long. It had been, um, you know, seven or eight years since I'd been there, maybe seven years. And so many of the teachers who were now my colleagues uh, had been my teachers before. I mean, I still remember going to my first cocktail party um, with uh, the other faculty and finding it um, terribly strange. Uh, it also posed a set of methodological challenges. Um, so things that other people would have found strange were could be taken for granted for me. Um, and so this meant having to be a little uh, diligent in the ways in which I made observations um, to try and sort of at least see the school not as a total insider. But it also gave me huge advantages, um, which was that the students were often very interested in the history of the school, um, the legacy of the institution, and as someone who was from that institution, I was seen as having a kind of authenticity. Also, the, you know, it may seem not like a very short period of time, a year to do research, but it's a relatively short period of time to try and master the social life of an institution. And to be blunt, it gave me a kind of leg up, a uh, capacity to do a very concentrated research project and not have to sort of learn from the very, very, uh, uh, from the ground up. Finally, I'll say that the, there's an enormous number of teachers at the school who are products of boarding school. And part of the reason for this is that the corporeal demands of being at boarding school are considerable, or the everyday life demands. So going to school six days a week, getting up at 8 and being done with your day by 11 p.m., everybody does that, but they don't always do that in a fishbowl, that is, in a context where there's 600 other, other people who are doing it, and everything you do is sort of observable. And this, to someone who hasn't experienced it before, can be kind of crushing um, and uh, really, really psychologically difficult. But for me, it was, it was, it was actually kind of simple. Um, and I think that enabled me to do the research in a way that I wouldn't have been able to do if I was sort of coming to the place completely anew. But I think it's important for the reader to recognize that someone else who might have done the same ethnography at the same time perhaps would have come up with very different observations um, because they would have seen as novel what I took for granted.